So what I think happened is he licked his, his, his foot like that, and I think there was a termite soldier on his foot, and it immediately clamped onto his tongue and gave him a bit of a fright. So it looks like he might go for a bit of a walk and we're definitely going to hang around and not go anywhere, see where he goes. Hey Shannon, Shannon's in Ohio. Shannon said this might be a dumb question. No such thing. Shannon only a dumb answer. Uh, Shannon wants to know, do they only sleep during the, the day or do they sleep at night too? They do sleep at night as well as during the day, Shannon. So, depending on how full they are and lots of different things, but they will sleep at night as well. Now, I'm wondering if I have that picture. Hi, Crystal, who's in California. And Crystal's wondering, is there ever going to be a time when there just isn't enough space for a leopard to disperse. Uh, well, I think we, we have reached that to a, to a degree already, Crystal, and, oh, oh, nice little rollover. And unfortunately, some male leopards are pushed into areas where they are not really welcome anymore. hoping he doesn't head too far to the north. We'd much prefer him to stay right where he is. He does look like he's a little bit hungry. Okay. So we were chatting about that wonderful sighting we had of him sleeping on the bush dinner site. And I thought I had them here. And that's how we... Let me go. Oopsie. i am dropping my camera there. Uh, Brian told me about this move or face it down. So that's how we spotted him. There he is there. And he was sleeping on top of the, the table. Look at that. Isn't that a comfy leopard? Um, wait, let me take my scarf off. I think my scarf is reflecting. Or if I do that, Brian, is that better? Oh, it's, there he goes, sleeping on top of the table, looking very comfortable. Look at that. Well, he's up, so let's stick with uh, <laughs> live quarantine rather than pictures of quarantine.
maybe I'll go for a drink.